Okay, we're streaming. Hopefully. I have no freaking clue if I do. <laughs> okay, this seems to be alright. Seems to be fine. Oh, I'm not screen sharing. Screen sharing. Screen sharing? God damn, I can't even speak today. Ooh. Like always. Uh. Sharing. Hello, sheep. Hello, water. How are you doing, guys? Uh, exact the same time. <laughs> oh, I'm late. God damn it. I don't want to be late. That's app. That happens. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I want to do a couple things before I start because. Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm a little bit tired. I was <laughs> I was pretty much drinking the whole weekend. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get back into being productive again. Uh, what I'm looking for? Uh, wait. I'm gonna use something that I haven't used in a while. Sources. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Damn, that's long. Long scheme. Damn it. Metals, uh, value, swatch, texture, it's almost white texture, I love it. <laughs> uh, I will use something I haven't used in a while. For this one. Um, that's Cygrass. I just bought a new sketchbook, awesome. <laughs> Uh, I will I will be using Cycrass uh, free paper texture for it. I've, I don't think it's big enough though. And, yeah, it's pretty small. That doesn't matter if I can stretch it. Okay. Then all my stuff is gone. Yeah, I'm doing pretty fine. A little bit tired, like always, but it's pretty much the story of my life anyways. Okay, how do I call this? Uh anatomy. Okay. Hello Jim Boy, how are you doing? Okay. Hopefully everything's prepared. So today I'll be doing some anatomy practice. It's not like a hundred percent tutorial. It's more of like how I'm doing things. I will be probably discovering some things as well as we will like progress. Probably not today. Probably in like when we move to something more difficult. Been a while since I last joined the stream. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, we weren't here like in last two or three streams, like the new ones I started doing again. But it's nice to have you back. <laughs> yeah, and where was I? Uh, it will be more of a learning curve process for me as well. And I'll be using my anatomy figures. Woo! Is it so oversaturated? I'm a sheep. Today I was researching anatomy. This that's awesome. You 
I guess I'm lucky. I guess you're a sheep. <laughs> if you... Yeah, by the way, if you don't know where to get the texture, I will... I will probably put it in the description under the video of the what later on, but otherwise you can get it on Psychra.net. If you don't know who Psychra is, go check him out, he's awesome. I'm not sure if he's still making videos, but he's awesome. Alright. Uh, my tablet is not plugged in. <laughs> eh. Professional streamer, always prepared. Yes, sorry about that noise. Hi, Lucky. I'm Mart. Okay. Ooh, this will be pretty difficult for me. Probably will. Right, is this. He still makes content, I think. It's just not so much. Yeah, I, I've, seen, I've seen his video like a month ago when he literally explained that he doesn't care. Uh, that he will leave all his videos, like, let's say, like, open source to anyone, because he doesn't want to be YouTube anymore or something. Like, thanks to some YouTube bullshittery about striking his channel, and he doesn't know if they will actually, if he will, he will actually get free strikes and the channel will get deleted. So he literally just announce that you can do literally whatever you want with this old content and I don't know if he's kept going. Not sure what he's doing now. I don't know. He might be teacher, I don't know. But he's pretty much the reason I started doing YouTube. Cool. Yeah we're gonna get some cool Etching brush. Just because I'm gonna use pencil dash real arch for B because I'm using that for everything these days. So where can I get the texture? On Psychra.net. This is anyway second in Psychra.net. Okay, I'll spam it a bit. It's uh and resources and you have to like scroll down, there will be like uh, where is it? It's somewhere in there. Motor Chain Podcast features Cynics and he said he was teaching. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. I know that he moved to Romania. That was like last time I heard from his life, something from his life. Uh, like otherwise I was like I might have watched some of his streams I'm not really a podcast guy so a podcast guy so I don't really listen to podcasts okay we will try to get some better color for this yeah this could be good I am living in Romania yeah Sacra might as well <laughs> and through watch your videos while I'm getting my art tablet no idea where. Where's the texture? Uh, go to resources and then it's called Cycrus Paper Texture. I can post like the, the actual like link for that, I guess. This is it. Yeah, I think Cycrus still lives in Romania, but I'm not sure. He, he was. He lived in. Uh, Canada, I think, for his pretty much whole life. And if I'm not mistaken, he moved to Romania with Flavia. And that's pretty much where my knowledge of his life ends. <laughs> okay, so, everyone ready? So today we'll be like doing some simplified anatomy of head. And... The first thing I will tell you when oh shite, I'll do that. First thing I will tell you. How do I edit? Uh you can if you have a crita, you can literally just uh, drag and drop the picture from like I don't know your the 
where you like saved it, you can just drag it and it will give you like prompt to add it as a new layer. And that's it. And you can resize it to whatever size you want. Then you create like a new layer on top of it and you can also lock the paper texture layer with this little locky thing. So you don't like mess it up or anything. You don't need to use this, it's just I don't like just drawing on white canvas. Yes, this gives you some some texture for it. And yeah, so uh, first thing I'm gonna say before I start, every time when you're practicing some part of body or anatomy, uh, try to figure out how it's connected to the <laughs> try to figure out how it's connected the rest of the body right so if you have like just trying to learn how to draw head right just don't draw just head right that that would not be really helpful right if you really try to draw head that would not be really helpful Now you need to like connect it to the actual like neck, right? And the neck has to be connected to something else, right? Like the rest of the body and sh and shiz, right? Sorry about that. So well, I'm always gonna go for the whole connection, and uh, this like applies to everything else. If you're like practicing, I don't know like shoulders right like arms you have to like connect it to the shoulder and shoulder has to be connected to the torso right and then you can like start doing your stuff right so every time when you're practicing something don't do just the one thing connect try to connect it to the rest of the body so you know how it works okay this is the first advice I will give you for free. Uh, next one will be a 9.99 plus tax. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. So every time when you want to draw something, there's like multiple ways how to do it, right? Like you don't have to follow them exactly. But what I like to do with hats, I start with the circle. That's why the first thing you have to learn use my method is to learn how to draw a circle it's not, it doesn't have to be like perfect circle okay it doesn't have to be like don't go just slowly to make a circle you know because if you go like slowly to make a circle it'll usually be a potato or do like no no don't do it just relax your arm do it like with the whole arm try to draw a bloody circle Shit, man, I love your streams, already learn stuffs, <laughs> learning stuffs. <laughs> okay, shit, man, thank you, I guess. Okay. So, uh, the whole thing I was talking about, right? Draw a circle. Best way to draw a circle is just don't try to do a circle, just do like these multiple oval, you know, uh, motions with your arm and you will end up with something like a circle right it doesn't have to be perfect this is just totally fine you know you can see it in there right so you draw a circle then I even if it's front front facing I will do a line down it doesn't it doesn't matter how long the line will be it's, it's just a line down right then you can make a jaw okay how the how this like circle goes down you can like straighten it up down a bit and this will like end up with the chin now if it's a girl or a guy depends what the next thing will be right if it's a guy you will probably want to make the jaw a little bit more thicker Right? So this will be like your uh, cheekbones. Okay, this first thing I did, I went like down. It will like symbolize your cheekbones. Really cool because it's just like a simple thing down. 
and then like under your cheekbones then you have like the jaw right so that's why the jaw goes like from the cheekbones down that okay it's it's not that hard like i will probably like signalize it with something else for a second we'll just use so first we have the circle right and then we did like oh it's wrong color sorry about that Then we did like those lines, right? Those will go to the chin. And they will like signalize the cheekbones. And then from that, we did like our jaw. Not a really visible color, is it? Our jaw. Yeah. Uh like the sharpness of the jaw and the wi wideness of the jaw and where it's like uh, positioned it depends on like the face structure how manly and more masculine the face is it doesn't have to like even some uh, girls have kind of masculine jaws and it's fine because like you know every person is different we have like some some basics or like you know, let's say that wider jaw or like more sharper jaw and wider chin is more masculine, right? And more like subtle jaw and like sharper chin, let's say this way, is more feminine. But it's not, it's like a guide for how to do a generic person, not a guy how to do any, like every person, right? So like, don't go with that. Okay, so now when we have the jaw, we can move on to pick my color back <laughs> without a jawline it looks like an alien <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's like yeah like if you re remove the jawline it kind of looks like alien does it <laughs> okay now i will let's not do features yet let's go for the rest of the head by features I mean eyes, mouth, nose, right? We don't need to know it right now. It's like the even though sometimes it helps us out I will like I will like explain how you can use your features that you already already like draw on that face, how we can use them to create the rest of the face as well, but we will go to that later. Okay, now we have the neck, right? And funny thing about this, if if you like continue the jawline and go down to the straight up thing and it's pretty much this distance from like where the circle ends down there is where your uh i forgot how this thing is called but like this little uh i was called like hole is it a hole you know this little hole when your neck ends i know we can show it on this thing can we oh not adam's apple i'm thing okay i will show it better okay it's oversaturated give me oh overexposed sorry We'll get back to it just in a second. Okay, now we can look at it. Okay, this is where. Sorry, wrong, wrong side. Okay, do you see this muscle? How it goes from where the jaw starts. It goes down, 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 and to the middle. And this is where it. Uh, where it uh connects over here and it it will create like this little all in here okay this is where you're going and pretty much the distance between your nose which for us a second i will go back to this thing it's not everyone has this it's not adam's apple adam's apple we don't care about adam's apple okay right now so this all like this distance is usually the same as the distance from the nose to the end of the chin. So 
this distance, usually same as this distance. Okay? And like the bottom of your nose. So. It will do like another things like that, right? That's a muscly thingy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like where the muscles are connecting to your, uh, oh no, no, it's not cheekbone, it's uh, collarbone, right? Then you have collarbone here. And it's kind of simple way how to do collarbone. Oh, sorry about that. It's just, Do this zigzag. This is where it will end. Oh, sorry about that. Funny thing, uh, if you don't know this distance, but you know his... His... Uh, no, chest rib cage, right? He has a rib cage right, right around here. Yes, it's bigger. Like, sorry. Like, simplified ribcage, okay? And this middle part that goes down to the ribcage, like, from here up here to the top of the collarbone is the same distance as the one side of the collarbone. Okay? So this distance is same as this distance. If you know that. I know that we are doing head, but how, how I said we, for the head, we need to know how it's connected to the rest of the body. So. This is where your, your, your pieces, or I know it's called in English hands and then you have your shoulders it goes down so this is how it add, how it connects right you connect it here this distance equals this distance and this distance equals this distance kind of simple all right now we have this all sorted out so let's Duplicate our little boy here. Make him smaller. Put it on the side. Now we can move to features. Since we did this whole circle first, thingy, right? Over here. Where it ends, it's usually where your Nose ends. So you have your nose there. Then in a half of this distance from your uh, chin, your end of the nose is where the mouth is. Funny thing, uh, like really good thing how to position your jaw, like your jawline is when you take like the distance between uh, between the chin and end of the nose like this distance and then you put like the mouth there in the middle that's gonna be roughly where this jawline will be it's the same spot pretty much okay it's like plus min plus minus you can put a little bit higher a little bit lower it's Anime eyes. And there will be no anime eyes, okay? I'm not that type of person. Oh, uh, will there? Uh, how do you draw anime eyes? I never. This is Spider Man eye. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. This is it like. No. Uh, how is it? <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, okay. 
survival it will be. Then, when we are at it, uh, the part where the circle starts like turning itself into that jawline. Uh, the jawline is where, like, that's like little this part, okay? This is where it turns into that. This is usually where the half of your, like, exact half of your eyes will be. So, usually around here. And then you have, like, at the middle, you have your eyebrows. Okay? Right at the highest, like the maximum di diameter of the circle is where the like eyebrows will be. Okay. Now we can like select it, and you like there's this like a rule, not rule, but you can separate your face into a couple eyes, right? Like you have one eye in the middle, then you have uh, one eye in the middle, one to one and a half eyes in the middle, then you have your eye, and then you have a little bit under your eye on the sides. Then you can do like a side, you can do the Eyebrows. Funny thing about the eyebrows is where you take it like this and go under. Do it. Up. And you go under. Right, it's just like kind of difficult for me right This is where you position your eyes, usually. I'm struggling to make eyes equal. Uh, are you struggling only from the front view or from any other view as well? That's my question. Just from the front view, okay. Uh, if it's just from the front view and you're fine with it using like any other thing, uh, you can use symmetry tools, it's fine. And usually flipping your canvas helps you a lot to fix the pro like fix the things that you messed up. So like have your uh, canvas switch, you know, thingy. Uh, at your like disposal if it's in traditional I actually found out the best thing like one thing that really helps is either use a mirror look in the actual mirror with your picture and look at that and if it's looking weird you can fix it and usually figure out how it works also uh, taking a picture on your phone really helps you as well because you can flip the picture in your phone and like or you can just use when it's like just from the for the front view right you can always like for traditional use the I don't know how it's called like the grid technique right and it's much easier to make like you know 
eyes that you know it, like it starts roughly here, right? And goes like that. And then it's there. Right? You can like use the grit, te grit technique as well to help you. Make sure you draw both of the eyes at once. Like, yeah, exactly. Or like, you know, the, the, the easy way, just take two, two pencils and just draw it like simultaneously. It's just way easier this way. <laughs> okay. This is the basics. So, to repeat it. Do circle. When the circle ends, there's where your nose is. End of the nose. Okay. End of the nose. Then where the... Where the... Chin... Like... This curve, chin curve, leaves the circle is where your cheekbones are, you like, are, Anna, and where the middle of eyes should be. Then where the maximum diameter is of the circle is where your eyebrows will be. Then half distance between your bottom nose and a chin, like bottom of the nose and chin, is where your mouth will be. At the same pretty much height will be the like the sh this uh, jaw jawline, like the I don't know the how is it called? Like the sharpness of your jaw. <laughs> okay, so it'll be the same thing, approximately. Okay, it's not like 100% no just there and hairline it's it depends how bold the guy is okay we forgot one more thing actually we got our ears right so ear is actually quite easy because once you have your eyebrows and once you have the bottom of your nose, you just fill the void with your ear. Sorry about the ear, it's like terrible. Uh, this is how you get the whole face. It's not. Uh, lol, I'm not him. Bidek, but I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> Alright. Don't forget to connect it. The way. So, this distance, and once more. On there. This is where the color. I know, I knew how this thing is called, but I totally forget how it is called. That's fine. Yeah, this is where your collarbone will start. Then, when you draw the collarbone, the same distance as your like mid part of your uh, damn rib cage will end. That's the same distance as the side of the collarbone. And then, like, you know, from here, it goes shoulder. Okay, this is the front view. It's like, that's the most basic thing to do. But to understand it better, you have to, like, remember those things that I told you right now. So many ways to remember, yeah, like, pretty much the only thing you need to remember here is the basics, eyes, nose, and everything, and then you have to, like, remember that there's some bone in here that is there, 
because you don't you're not a doctor you will not tell anyone else that needs to know what you're talking about right that this is your collarbone you kind of basic knowledge i would say uh that guys of adam's apple like also kind of basic knowledge i guess your cheekbones also kind of basic knowledge you're fine with that. There's like nothing too, too hard. Then you have like jawline, right, and everything. Yes, like the one plane. Okay. And draw him some eyesies. He doesn't look too weird. He looks like he got punched in his left eye. <laughs> okay. So we got our guy, right? The girl would be similar, we can just make the jawline a little bit less visible, let's, you know what. Let's make him into a girl, real quick. And we are at it. So we can like, pretty much keep everything you have. Here. One thing I would probably do. To make the jawline more subtle, not that sharp. Uh, same thing with the. If I try to draw a skull itself, yeah, we can draw a skull itself. After this, I will just finish this and I will like draw a skull over it, so you understand what what's what. Let's say this way. So you make like very subtle. Very subtle uh, and more of a curvy face than sharp and white, more of a curvy and a little bit more thinner. Same with the nose, it will be smaller. Lips will be more. More like fuller, I guess, than guys. But like every every other aspect of it, like still holds, right? The neck will be way like the neck will be the same, but now we have the jaw a little bit inwards, not as sharp. So now we can do the same thing with the neck, right? But it, the neck will be like thinner now, just a bit, like it's. Same thing for the eyes, same thing for the eyebrows. Actually, I realized that girls have a little bit higher eyebrows, but it's not by much, so just go with the same uh, rules as for the guy and then just adjust them so they look more feminine. They could be a little bit more higher than guys, and usually they are way uh, thinner, not as bushy. <laughs> And try to make uh, everything when you're the hard part about drawing girl's face is to not make her look old because once you once you're like working with guy you can just make little wrinkles everywhere right you can like define the actual like your smile wrinkle here right you can define that no problem because like if you're drawing guy it's fine but if you do that on a girl suddenly she will 
turn into an old lady. And you don't want that. So yeah, like, be very subtle with these, like, little things. Because if I would do like this, suddenly she's old. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if I would do it on a guy, it's fine. But... So now we can do, like, eyebrows. And the same thing, like, the same way how I did the eyes before, I can do them now. I will just do this little, like, dip down. It's actually one thing I learned from Psychra, and it's really helpful. It, like, it was really helpful through the years. And with girls' eyes, I have this, like, little trick. Do just the top of the eye. Place your... Place your, like, pupils. Is it pupils? Like, the eyes? I don't know. Where you want them. Okay. The actual eyes, like, the inner eyes, where you want them. And then, like, finish the, the bottom eye, like, part of the eye, because now you have, like, more reference where the eye should go, because you already have the eye in it, right? And the same goes for the ears, right? Usually ears for girls is smaller... I don't know, how the bottom of the ear, like the small, really fluffy part of the ear. Is, they are like smaller in general. Like not as... not as like blocky, they are more shaped better, smaller in general. And one thing, actually two things. It's weird, but if guy has like all of his hair, usually his hairline is lower and girls is tiny bit like higher, but but usually, you know, guys don't really have all, all of their hair for the rest of their lives and their hairline goes up. So you can go like older the guy go up but the girls usually stays the same but you have to practice this to get it right the way you want it Yeah, also, girls don't have Adam's apple, so <laughs> don't draw that in there. <laughs> Make sure to draw the sideways profile too. Oh yeah, we will get to it. This is like, just front view. Now we'll do a side view, then we will try to like, do simpler, simpler versions from each like, some cool angles and stuff. And now, we were talking about the skull, so let's move on to this one again. This is easier now. And the scalp, it pretty much shows what I told you already. Okay, I'll save it just in case. Okay. I don't know if you can see it on here. Wait, is the one? This one. Okay. It will like literally tell you exactly what I showed you. Like these basic lines are you are pretty much the same thing but really simplified because you have everything you need there, right? The line for the cheekbone, which is here. The line for the jaw, which is like right under. Then you have where the eye will go, the eye circle, which will pretty much be the eyebrow. One second. The eyebrow, that's like not in here, right? Then the hole for the eye. Yeah. And then it will end with the cheekbone. 
and things like that, okay? It's pretty much the same thing, you will just be copying the things that I already drew, right? So we can start with circle on top, but I will end it right about here. I should have changed my... What's the red? Way better. Alright. Alright, good. I need to put this aside, sorry about that. So, same thing as before. We have the circle. Now, where it goes like here, and this is where the eye circle stars go, and going up, and where your cheekbone will be. Okay, now we have the eyebrows, which I said are around here, where the like maximum di diameter of the circle is. So we'll just do the eyebrow there. Like, like something like eyebrow, right? Now, I said eyes are somewhere like, you know, under it, where like the cheekbone goes. So yeah, let's just continue expanding. That. It's been a while, okay, since I drew this, so <laughs> don't be so harsh on me. Now, for the nose, pretty much goes like this. At the end of this, that will be like at the end of the eye circuit, it will be like the top of the nose. Like, you have to, like, realize that only just part of the nose is actual bone. Okay? Like, only part of it is bone. Then you have your... holes for breathing, right? Are these, like, weird shapes. Cheekbone reporting for duty, sir. Hello, Neo Cortez. <laughs> it goes up. And there's like this bone up there. Looks weird, doesn't it? Now, the jaw will connect. Rusty. Hello, Wolfie. I hope the trophy. That looks interesting. So, what are we drawing here? And now I'm just look like showing where the things from the actual. Okay, it's actually it's not. I wasn't that far off <laughs> with the scale. Okay, we are trying to learn a little bit of anatomy of head today. We'll be doing some other parts of the body through the next. For the like rest of the week, the skull. <laughs> okay. So this is how the skull is there, right? Then you have just spine that goes down there. For guys, you have like this thing in there. Then you have your like rib cage that's connected to your collarbone over here, which goes down there, there, and there, there. That's connected to your uh, shovel bone. 
Okay, let's connect it to our shovel bone. I, I think it's called shovel bone in English as well, but I'm not sure. You know, like the things, but like on at the like your back, right? And which I don't remember like hundred percent. I know that it's like that there, right? And it's. Pretty much the shovel. Okay, the collarbone is connected to the shovel bone. Shovel bone is connected to the actual like arm, and from the shovel bone, the arm goes down, right? And then you have like these two bones coming out of it. Over here, you can just like do this uh, triangle at the end of the bone. And you know like which way this goes. And the rest of the bones goes up like from it as well. It's like a little bit too far fetched because I made like shoulders for a guy and this is girl, so you get it. <laughs> okay. And yeah, and then you have like your rib cage. And like do like this. It's you don't have to like be perfect, right? And then we have the smith part, which should be the same length as this, which now I see it isn't because I made the shoulders too too big, so it's like for a guy and not for a girl, you know, so difference there. But yeah, that's pretty much the skeleton under it. Like every part of the skeleton you need to know, and this is like kind of more fetched. It should be different, but you no, know, different proportions for a girl for a guy. That's <laughs> what I can tell you. I should have drawn on the guy's version. That's fine. Okay. So this is our front view, right? Now we can move on to a side view. Or should I keep it there? I feel like I should probably keep it in there. Yeah, let's just one is the back one? Okay, I'll just duplicate this one. Okay. Group these. I did what? I'll group these. Group these. Just placing them in there and our skeleton skeleton come on Pretty nice though. Thanks for the drawing. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. I don't know if that was you who were asking about the skull. Yeah, it was you. Okay. <laughs> Why is it laggy? I don't know why I can't. You now what? It's fine. We don't. What's wrong? Something's wrong here. I can like zoom in, zoom out, or anything. And the saving. Oh. Can't do anything. Well, I mean, it's saved, so I will just try to load it again, I guess. Uh, head from below? Yeah, we can we can try that. If my, like, pretty actually decides to work... Wait a second, I need to... Sorry about that. Frida, is K... <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's, it's weird. I think it happened to me a while ago, but... 
I don't recall it being that weird. I couldn't use any of my tools at all. I couldn't resize anything, I couldn't do anything like that. Like, I could save it, that was it. What time is it? Ooh, we're, we're already going an hour? I'm so freaking slow. I wanted this to be like 30 minutes long. <laughs> okay. Good thing is that we have functionality back. I can resize this one. Uh, I'll be about it. Can move on finally with a new layer. Called layer 12 because that's how you roll in Korea. Or in digital painting, just don't don't ever name any of your layers. That would mean that you're like you know, eye efficient and organized, and that's just not not a good thing to do. You know, being organized, it's uh, <laughs> Okay, so now we'll, let's do side view. Side. And for side view, it works the same. Okay. Same thing. I will just do circle and I will just do line. But now the line is not in the middle, it's on the side. Magic. <laughs> and now I will take about a half of the circle. Okay. About half of the circle. Plus minus half of the circle. Okay. Take about... Okay. And right about when the circle is about to end. I will I will start the jawline Okay Just a little like, I don't know, curve, it's fine Doesn't have to be anything, like, you can just try it a few times, it's fine Usually what I do at this part, I will just draw like a little circle there. Make it look a little bit weird, but the circle helps there for me. Now, right where the... Right where the circle like touches the first line that's like going down, I will make vertical line. Because this will be our eyebrow. You heard that? The same thing. The Like the biggest, you know, the... Biggest diameter is where the eyebrow is, so biggest diameter is where the eyebrow is. Okay. Now, right about, I don't know, it's half and half, it's where the neck will start coming out of the head. And now, about half this way is where the neck will start coming out this way. And good thing to do is where you like now you have like you know the neck actually, but you don't know how to connect it. Just like you just did two lines, that's stupid, is it? So now the connection from the back of the jawline that you just drew, you can do this line right down here. Same like same dimensions as here applied. So this is about where the nose will be. How I said the nose chin thing, nose chin thing, same thing, just like same, di no dimension, same distance from the nose to the chin. 
will go down where the neck will end and turn into color own. If it's guy, of course Adam's apple and shit. If it's not, just don't put it there, it would look weird. <laughs> okay, now we have like all the dimensions the same way as we did it from the front view. Just the lines are a little bit different on the different parts, right? And now let's try to do the actual curves. So we know that this is pretty much where the nose will go, right at the bottom of the nose. And this is where the eyebrow will be. So let's just draw an eyebrow quickly. Now we can go down. Make the nose. And this is like this little weird shape. Yeah, this little weird shape goes the same way because like in the middle here, this is where the pretty much mouth should be. So I will do like a mouth. And then I will do like another bump here. And then turn it into a chin. Same thing as before with the eyes, how I did them here. I will just continue the like the eyebrow line, go in. Now the whole circle will be like this kind of Nike. Nike I was like, how is Nike? It's like this, right? But like flip. The flipped Nike will make you an eye. <laughs> Okay, and now I said before I usually for girls I will just do the actual eye in the eye like in the actual eye circuit and then finish the bottom eyelid. Then we have the ear. This is pretty bad actually. Okay. And if you know, want to know the uh, skull under it, this one is not that good. If you want to know the skull structure under it, when you want to do the hair. The hair there, Let's make her like a ponytail or something. I don't know. Okay, and the skull structure under it, it's the same thing. Okay, we already have all those things that we need, right? So we know where the eye hole will be. A second, <laughs> eye holes. <laughs> uh, I should probably change my terminology or learn it better, I guess. So same thing, we have the circle, we have our eyebrow in there, I didn't do separate layers for this, it's a shame, it doesn't matter. Messed up here, fine. the cheekbone yeah. and draw today respect to ear 
And we have this thing. Now the actual teeth there, right? There, um, goes under. There we go. There's the hole for the ear. This is connected here. Not perfect, but we'll do. And around here, there goes the spine down. This is where your rib cage will be for the collarbones. Pretty much connected. Oh, this is wrong. Should be more this way, sorry. Okay, like that. Flip Nike everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of good thing to flip Nike. If you're doing from the side view, it's more of a flip Nike. Because, like, the eye goes around. But it's like, also shrinking a bit. Then you have like, you know, the eyelid, this is where the... Then you have the actual eye in it. And then this goes around. And we can finish the eye. So it's like flip Nike logo, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this is like side view. I will not do it for a guy because it's the same thing. Okay, you're just like, except this nice curvy line. There will they would be more of a defined. Okay, I can draw. There will be more of a defined jawline structure. Okay, be like and like big ass. Bloody small lips, smaller lips, bigger nose, usually more defined. Lower eyebrow, just a tiny bit, it doesn't have to be too low, okay. Now we can do even this sport. Bigger ear. The hair should be a little bit lower. Short. Things like that. Like it's it's the same. This is terrible by the way. <laughs> this one is not good either. <laughs> I will get back to it, it's fine. I always said it's a learning process for me as well because I haven't done it in a while. And now uh, we wanted to see hat from below. Uh, any particular angle or let's say that you have any particular angle you want to see it from it's like let's say that this is your person uh, yeah, uh, this is your person
and okay, I like the shoulders, right? Or the eyes would probably like. Do you want to see like some angle more or like straight up below? Hi, Mil Hi, Nella. How are you doing? Or you want to see it just like a little bit from below? Like I don't know. Just like. You have to like realize what what will be visible, right? Like if it's just a little bit from below, like uh, the perspective already implies that you know distances, that you know everything, okay? And if you're looking from like below or like crazy angles, the perspective will start like running a lot into that. Probably not the best view I could have managed to see, but pretty much it goes the same way, like you okay, let's it like the structure under it so you draw a circle for the main part of the skull half to half good because a com campaign is successfully found it for now there is still two days bad because i'm broke and i need to wait two weeks to out her send me money Ooh. i mean you can survive two weeks on like uh how's it called <laughs> ramen noodles right <laughs> <laughs> I I write way longer through like my studies, so I still that's great. I mean, once it gets like a little bit more, uh, how's it called? A uh, little bit more. This is the beginning, right? So like now you'll be the struggling artist, and then you'll be like like. Okay, so. Same as before, right? You start with the circle, or the like, the, like the main core of the head. So like this will be like the skull of the head, right? Like the big bulky part without a jaw and everything. And then you do like the line, which way you're looking at it, right? So this way, I know that there's the line, and foreshortening will tell me, okay, it's so right about here. We have the same thing, right? This is eyebrow. We'll feel like continue the structure. This is where the ear will be. And if we'll continue the structure, hey, this is where our jaw will have to be, right? And since this and this line should be parallel, it is. It's great. We know that from this view, right? These two lines parallel. Sorry. Um, this, these two lines parallel. So we have this parallel with this one. Now we need to find where these will connect. So I would say, I would say like here. I messed up. Slunge more. Out. Erase some things real quick. I was looking at the wrong part. It's like it's the bottom of the nose, not like the tip of the nose, right? <laughs> so now we need. Know that this that would be like a middle of the mouth as well. We'll go around on this side, we'll go like that. Now, this thing applies for the jaw, how I told you before. 
Now, the neck, how I said on this view, right behind that, there's like, from this, there is about half. Okay, so if we'll take this about half, okay, it will be about here. Okay. Now we can add like the line for the neck, how it would go. Uh, this would be like the muscles and shit. This is where the collarbone would connect. Be like closer to us. Things like you have to, it's it will get difficult. More crazy you will go with like everything will get more and more difficult in terms of like figure out where everything goes and nose you would see like one part of sorry uh, one part of this go like that go more straight Eyebrow is a little bit too long. But yeah, like you have to like figure out what you're going for. Now we have the hair, right? It'll be like really small because it's like leaning backwards. Go like that. Not the hair. Uh, find out prefer hair to genip. Uh, in tablet. Kasha, old Slavic way, the best way. Kasha? Oh, it's like Kasha is more like a. Uh, I know what you mean. Is it sweet? And like, I don't know, it's sweet, right? <laughs> and I know what you mean. Uh, world grains. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I know what you mean. Uh, you can make it sweet, right? But it's not really good. <laughs> Wheat, oat, anything, yeah. yeah. It's like oatmeal. Yeah, actually oatmeal is exactly that. But it's like made out of oat. But it's disgusting. <laughs> but I know what you mean. Uh, hard genip. You mean like in N? Genip for traditional. Okay, now I'm confused. What the hell is Genip? Oh, on like digital. When you're like trying to do traditional like art, but with digital, then you're using Genip. I don't know which one is Genip. <laughs> okay, same way applies. How I said before, it will just like connect. The hard thing is like realizing how like the structure actually goes because like now these lines that I did like the straight line here are not straight anymore because now, now they are curved because you're looking at the angle right so when I pick like the red one here like a new layer now those lines you know like for example the eye line goes more like that and then now the eyebrow line goes like just like that and there the nose line for the end of the circle now you don't have the end of the circle to show you where the nose will be but it, like the distances are still the same so like just copy the face and it should go right under the ear same with like the bottom of the neck same with the mouth and thanks to the way how we're looking at her face it's like from you know like from this view like that view uh things that will be like closer will be longer let's say this way and further away you're going the distance will get shortened and shortened and with this kind of like just straight up looking at her it's fine you can go like more crazy with the like you 
The foreshortening in the real life on small objects, it's pretty much nothing. It's non-existent unless you're actually like really close to them. So uh, it depends how like you want to, like if this is just part of some bigger drawing and she's like like in the middle of the field, foreshortening just doesn't exist really there. But once you like get really closer to something and you want to like exaggerate the for inking. Inking. <laughs> I'm still confused because I don't know if we're talking like digital, like actual Wacom pen, some, some GNIP, or are we like talking some actual like pen that you're using for traditional art? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, uh, the distances don't really matter that much with uh, when you're looking at something from clo like from far. It doesn't really matter much but if you're like close up uh, the foreshortening will get like you know a little bit more important but pretty much this distance now is not the same as this distance it's a little bit longer because now we'll see a little bit under the chin right and the chin is also closer to us okay now now I get it but I have still no idea what's genip <laughs> I've never seen it. I don't know what it is. Like for inking, I'm usually using just the just uh, Karateke Millennium or a Sakura Microns. And when it comes to actual like uh, pen brushes, I really like the uh, Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. It's like ooh, greatest. Thing ever created and their uh, Pentel brush pen color thing it's called like that there's like multiple colors you can refill them with you can use them like for water drawing as well after that because you can just refill them with water and clean them and it's really cool and the, the nips on them are like really good or not nips like the brushes there and yeah, from this view, like, the skull would be there as well, right? Like, you're still working with the same premise. everything still applies there still have your skull you still have everything and if something starts to feel iffy you're doing something wrong like if something doesn't fit anymore you're probably doing something wrong Right, and then you have like this thing goes like right under here, but even further. And you have this part, right? And everything just goes from there the same way how it went before. That's like not perfect, but still fine. I posted on Discord a picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, now I get it. Oh, these things. It's like for the normal pen for like writing, right? This is used for calligraphy and stuff. I hated these. 
when I was like little because when I was okay when I was still in school like early days in school I was at the weird time when everyone went when they were like kind of ending the whole cursive thing and here the whole cursive thing started with these pens and it was ridiculous okay I will just pull it up so everyone knows how it actually looks okay Started with these freaking pants, okay? And it was ridiculously hard to do. I totally hate it. Like, I broke these all the time. I hated those. I, thankfully, it was like just one year or something. And then everyone just switched to like... That... Like, more of a normal cursive. And then like, about my fourth year at like elementary we switched to fuck cursive and everything's fine with like normal i don't know how it's called like normal writing i guess <laughs> so yeah that's i hated those i probably still do <laughs> so you can you can keep them <laughs> i want those eat them so yeah, uh, this is how I would uh, draw it from like bottom. Uh, from top, uh, we can go like a weirdish angle now. Okay. You can try some weirdish angle. I have like a little bit more time. Tachikawa, Japanese steel is better, I think. I torture them all. <laughs> yeah, like you can't use these without torturing them. Even though I've seen some really cool like. Um, I'll try drawings for more for calligraphy. This looks like really useful, but yeah, I would rather probably cut off my hands than use them. <laughs> Won't save it, it will take a while. But yeah, usually when it comes to inking, uh, Japanese brands are the top. Like, straight up. When you go for inking, just go for Pantel, go for like whatever. But usually it's Japanese brand. <laughs> because I tried... I tried Faber-Castle, okay? I love them. They're just like... They, their pencils are amazing. It's like... Like, actually graphite pencils. Best pencils I ever used, okay? But when it comes to inking, no. Just no. And I tried like some other ones as well. And it's just... No. If you want to do some proper inking, just go Japanese brands because I don't know, they just know it's better, I guess. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It might be like stereotype or something, or like I'm bullshitting myself, but I don't think so. It's just. Okay. Okay, where was I? You know what? Let's. I don't, I'm not happy how this one turn out, so I will just... I will just make her look better. I bought Pentel Genpel. It was disaster, complaint not waterproof, same problem with Sakura gel pill. I'm not talking gel, I'm talking actually ink. <laughs>
bit more difficult, but I think I can manage. Slightly better, but still kind of sucks. Yeah, those angles are kind of difficult. Slightly the better. No. I'm an idiot. Hi sheep, hi sheep, I'm a sheep. Sakura, Sakura Pigma Graphic and Sensei are waterproof on other and but not eraser proof. That's a gel pen. I, I've never used gel pens for anything. I don't really like them. When I'm going something like that, I just prefer. Straight up ink. This is terrible. Why is it so bad? Am I stupid? stupid? No, no. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. She's doing hopefully fine. Half to half, I guess. <laughs> no, they are technical pens. Yeah. I'm always going for ink when, like, pen. Always. Find it more. Kind of shitty though. Alright, where was I? Uh, yeah, front view now. Let's do that one. Where was I? Here. Same thing. We want to go. Oh. Running out of space, let's just move on here, I guess. Same thing from the front view, uh, top view. Uh, you, you go like your circle before, and I don't know what kind of top view we're gonna do today. Uh, let's do like, well, like this. where I'm like touching the circle with it. The view is kind of easier, I would say. Just like a lot of things will just be covered. There's something else. Way smaller. So 
sorry. Eh. Second. No, oh, no, no, it's wrong. It should be starting here. Going that way. Right, and the opposite way goes to like the same thing. Now we have this part. Now the hair, right? Can make her like, you know. Goes down as well. Alright. I'm starting with Vine. Do ya? And are you like... What's your first impression so far? That's your first tablet, right? If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, again, like you're starting with circle, right? Then there's straight line down. You have to figure out whether it's touching. You know, make that circle so you can get your this line. Now all the lines. Once you get like from uh, any other angle, then just like the what is it called? Like a horizontal angle, let's say this way. Like that you're not going this way or just going like around the axis once you're starting using other angles every straight line that i used here now it's pretty much circle because you have like you know your your normal circle that every single one of these lines is now like this cut out circle out of that other circle because this is actually not circle it's more of a sphere so now we have cut out here and then you can go like the line down here and this line now it's just like cut out here, right? And this line it's now like cut out here. Right? And this line is just like line here. Now you can connect all the dots. Can I get like my you can connect all the dots, right? Make mouth, make your uh, bloody nose. One eyebrow, second eyebrow. This thing. Now we have the rest of the head. Skull or what how the hell you want to call it now we can go down with the neck Let's say this is a guy So we all like some weird ass hair Let's make him like not that much of hair, tiny bit. Right, this would be like the cheekbone, the cheekbone line we were talking about before. This one. That's this. Where the cheekbone ends, so we'll make like the line there. Bye bye, take care. Anyway, I need to go back to work. Okay, see ya. Search for geometry, that's what I usually do. Geometric figures. Yeah, I'm using my figures. 
my three total figures. By the way, yeah, link for them is in the description below. You can check them out if you want to. Want to get them. Actually, I was like practicing with them a lot lately. Uh, not so much faces, but like the figure itself. Because I forgot a lot of things. Mostly about legs. <laughs> legs are one hell of a problem for me these days. This view, I don't know what kind of view we want to do, get. Any other like request on some view or on some part? Okay, I still hate this one, so I will redraw it. Hi, Gail. I didn't even see you here. You're being silent. <laughs> okay, I will. Which one is this one, though? Uh -oh. Okay, that's why. You uh, not name your layers because naming layers are, is for suckers. Okay, I'll just make this look better because this is garbage. Portions are wrong. I can see it now. Portions are total effect on this one. No, it's fine. Like nothing unfixable. People are struggling to draw likes right now. Me too! Welcome to the club. That's why likes will be one of the last ones that I will do. Because with legs, I have a problem right now. But I will not. Bonsoir, viva Disney. <laughs> uh, are you Disney fanboy by any chance? <laughs> or fangirl or whatever. Fan person. Yes, it's much better, by the way. <sighs> the proportions were, like, fucked. They're kinda shitty, but we can work with that. Yeah. And we can, like, make this one a little bit more to the front. Yeah, because now we're like looking at this angle and we can be looking at this angle So if they will be looking at each other, right? We have the same still 
Yeah, but like, uh, still the same premise. So now they're looking at each other, right? So now this line goes around like so. Damn, this is not really visible the way how I want it to be visible. This is the main circle. This is the... This is this circle. Okay, and now this is where we're hitting it. We need to make this like so the actual face is visible. Like, actually makes sense. Say that it's a, also a woman. getting kind of difficult from these angles. Okay, this is where the spine line goes, so now we can do like this part. We'll now turn into a butt. She's like looking way this way. This one's looking that. Eh, eh. This is good enough, I guess. That's cool. You're cool. You're breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, with legs. That's that's a whole like. Let's okay. We can we can do like a couple of those last five minutes of the stream. We can try to like see. A little bit of likes, like sneak peek for what's about to happen. But uh, with likes, there's this freaking problem. Okay. With likes, you need to draw a waist like torso as well. Yeah. Oh, damn it, I need to. 
inch layers for this one. Uh, should have been about ads, but it's, it's fine. I do links. Fine. There's no problem with that. No, I didn't. Did I? Oh, I did. Good. But now we have lags, right? Needs to be more oh wait stretch because this one goes down this is bad this is so bad but yeah I, my main problem with legs at this point is this area and Good. One should be more to the back. That's fine. For it to work, it should be more like this. Okay, that's fine. My my problem with legs right now is knees. I fucking suck at them. And then feet, which is pretty important. <laughs> but yeah, uh, usually when it comes to legs, it's very important to know where the hips are going, where the shoulders are going. Then also you have the whole, like once you go into perspective, you can just go crazy and nobody will really notice <laughs> how bad you are making legs, right? For example, if like I would go to like some stupidly weird ass perspective like you can like get out like get away with a lot if you like start doing some weird weird ass perspectives right like if I would be about to do it like from bottom. This one's kind of fat, damn it. <laughs> this one's in a way, go away. <laughs> yeah, like you can do the same thing with like this a little bit weird out perspective. Right? Like it will look better. Okay, like these are like fingers, right? Sorry about that. And I like garbage, but it's fine. It's like the eye, right? Oh, this is tie, sorry. I like hands. Make 
make like some crazy ass like arm swing or whatever. Head backwards or hers. It's like there's, you know, the knee going forward. You like this line. Like, if it's something that simple, it will be just fine. But when it's like something that someone can actually like imagine. How is this gonna go? It's starting to be like a little bit tedious. There. I was stuck at the point the whole time. <laughs> at knees, uh. It lags usually. Like if you're doing something more. You won't actually do the knees. It's more of a this double, double bump. Looks like that. From the double bump, if you do like this weird line down. And from the top, it goes like that. Down, and from here, it goes like under. From that, away. Right? And then you can like forget this line, because that's like where the bone would be. There we go. Then you have like muscle under it, right? Like these double big ass motherfuckers. <laughs> and then you have like. Oh yeah. Well, where? It this goes like from here. And it wraps around the leg. This one, right? And this is just like, like this weird potato shape here. Yeah, the knee, right? It's like connected here, right? And this is like the big one as well. It's up. It's weird. <laughs> Muscles are weird. <laughs> Legs as well, right? It's like connecting to the hips. Yeah, it's like kind of difficult and the feet, what I'm going for usually is when it's like connecting the feet, they're great. I'm an idiot, that's fine. When you're like about to connect the feet to something, like about to draw the feet, when it's just front view, it's usually like... So I'm doing something like this shape and then going from it. Like, you know, and then you can like change it to, I you know, this is like the one, two, three. Goes more like this, sorry. And then you can do like this whole thing up there. This would be like the bone. If you want to do something more crazy, then you can do like. Sorry. Eh. Like the bottom part, how I did before. Got it make it go up with like this triangle then make like the heel I can go from it up or it's but it's like weird yeah you have to like kind of draw it a lot and if like you're going close-ups of the feet uh, try to let your hand more loose don't try to like figure out the shape right away. Like this is one thing about drawing a people and like more of a organic things. Never ever do try to do like this thing. This is this is just like the sketch up, but if you're actually drawing it from close up, try to do like, you know, I see feet, okay I see I can draw a circle, right? I can I can draw a circle. And like 
draw this line, can I? You know, I can just make it loose. Like, it's like all there's no like actual sharp angle anywhere. That's usually people and animals and organic things. There are no sharp angles, so just like let let your little hand loose and just draw and draw and draw like with ovals and curves. Then try to like you know actually pinpoint how it goes now. Be more loose with everything, and you'll figure it out sooner or later. And with this, right? So. I would go more loose, I will soon enough figure out that I had it wrong the whole freaking time. Alright. Be pretty good. Cool. Teapot Chan, howdy, how are you doing? Hi. You've actually entered just in the end. That's a shame. <laughs> I don't like this one. This one's cool, this one's kind of garbagey. I don't like this one, this one's cool. Yeah. You can show the rest of the thingies in there. Was it? Right. These things, oh heck, yeah, it's the end, but the whole stream will be available on the YouTube channel, so we can watch it back if you want to. I will try to do some cutout of the most important things out of it, and make it into like 30 minutes video or something, and yeah. So, yeah. I'll be doing that. And... With this, I guess if there are and if there are no more questions, uh, I will just say that that will be back tomorrow, the same time. Uh, we will be doing another part of the body. Now it was all about heads, sort of all the like feet and legs at the end. Which I hope I will like not do them <laughs> next time. I'll try to stick up, to, like you know, keep with my theme. Uh, today will be. Where we're doing hats tomorrow, there will be another part of the body. I'm thinking since we're doing hats, we can like go lower one part, lower to torsos, I guess. Do torsos, and then we could move to arms and then legs, I guess. So yeah, uh, we'll be doing probably torsos tomorrow, and uh, yeah, hope I'll see you in the next one. Parts out, watching. Okay, how do I turn this off? <laughs> it's awkward. I am gone. And I will never be back, except to...